I look crazy because it's a work from home day and I just took my hair out of my buns so I wouldn't look too insane, but Ramsey sees a bug or something and he's meowing at it. But hi you guys, I know I've been gone for a while. I was taking a break because I don't like editing. I don't like editing. So I started editing this video and then I didn't feel like finishing it and then I disappeared. But now I'm back and I'm thinking that maybe I'll switch my upload days to Monday because right now I'm having to edit like after I come home from work and that's just not gonna work. When I come home from work, I just wanna go to bed. I don't feel like editing, I don't feel like doing anything. I lay on the couch, I play my game and I watch TV until it's time for me to go to bed so I can go back to work the next day. But on the weekends, I feel like Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, if I edit on any of those days, I can have a video up on Monday. So we're gonna try that out. We're gonna do Monday uploads. This video is probably gonna go up on, um, I don't know. I can't decide, do I wanna put this mo this video up on Friday and then give you guys an extra video on Monday, like a short one, and then go from there? I think that's what I'll do, just to be fair. So you'll get a video on Friday and then another one on Monday. And after that, Monday uploads. <sighs> okay, that's all I wanted to say. Enjoy the vlog. I'll see you guys on Monday. Oh, lighting's being weird. Okay, bye. Well, see you. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. It's Chrissy. Um, I'm coming here to make a snack. I was doing my nails. Look how cute they are. Also, I burned myself getting some food out of the air fryer, but look how cute they are. Is that scary? It's from these mats. I guess I had my hand resting on it, but yeah. They're like these cute little ombre nails and then I put like these little stickers and rhinestones on them. I'm still working on this hand, but this one looks really cute. But I'm in here to make a snack. I saw it on TikTok and I was like, oh, I wanna try that. They make a Caesar salad chicken wrap and it just sounds so good. So I'm gonna show you everything that I bought for it and then we're gonna move on to assembly. Um, should I be in the freezer? Yes. We got a bag of chopped Caesar salad mix. Some chicken strips, boneless. Oh no, these are actually boneless chicken bites. I meant to buy strips, but this is okay. And tortilla. So the plan is to air fry the chicken, mix up with a little salad, put it in the wrap, and then that was how they did it on TikTok. But I'm also going to toast my wrap. So I'm also like, do that. I feel like that'd be really good. Um. Ramsey's always got something to say. I'm gonna throw these in the air fryer. Later on in the vlog, we're gonna be cleaning and organizing the kitchen because guess what? Because I bought all this pink stuff for the kitchen, so I'm very excited to put it all away. Even pink pots and pans. I was supposed to go through all that today, but I decided to do my nails and lay around instead. So probably we'll do this tomorrow. I need to get to it because I'm tired of my kitchen table being covered in all this stuff. It is not time for dinner. These are chicken strips for me. I feel like four chunks is enough. I'll probably cut this big one in half. Um, should I do five chunks? Let's do five. Let me throw another chunk in there. Oop. 
I could always take or eat the chunks separately if I don't put it in the wrap. And I'm gonna go ahead and, can't even see me. I'm gonna go ahead and prep my salad now. I have my ring light on, so that's probably why the lighting looks weird. Um, I bought a new set of silverware and I thought I was buying a 20 piece set of silverware because it was like $80, $89 or so. So it got here and I'm like, wow, the box is pretty light and it turned out to be just a five piece silverware set. So I'm gonna have to return that and wait for Macy's to have another sale so I can buy the right silverware. We're gonna do a small portion of salad. The salad mix was buy one, get one for a dollar, probably because it was about to go bad. So that's why the color is a bit off. Let's try to eat as much of that as possible. And we'll try to eat some more tomorrow. All right, we got cheese, some really crushed up croutons, which I love, and then the dressing. I love crushed up croutons way more than full croutons in my salad. Is this going to be enough sauce? That's my main concern is it's not going to be saucy enough. Let's throw a little bit more in there. Just a little bit more. Ooh, I should see if I have some lemon. A little squirt of lemon would be really good in here too. Let's check. Uh-oh, we got a lemon. We're not gonna do a lot of lemon, just a nice little drizzle. I wonder, do you guys ever hear Ramsey in the background of my videos just screaming? All right, we're gonna let this sit. We're waiting for the the nuggets to get done. So we could do assembly. I guess I might as well take a tortilla out. I try to get medium sized tortillas because I didn't want to get a huge one. So hopefully we can heat this up and wrap it really nicely. Maybe it was a little too much salad. I'll just eat whatever's left. Let me grab the chunks. All right, now I could have left the wrapper or the little meat things in there a little longer, but I didn't feel like waiting. I'm hungry now. Um, I also should have got bigger tortillas, I'm finding out. Let's try to wrap this anyway. Oop. Yeah, tortillas are way too small, but we made it work. Okay, barely. Way too small. I should have like got bigger tortillas or just make two next time. We're just gonna go like this and it's just gonna be open on the ends. It'll be fine. We'll, we'll close one in and let's go ahead and throw this in the pan. Let's go this way first, see if we can seal the tortilla a little bit. Got my snack, and I also went back to Chick-fil-A. Uh, this morning, I went and got one of these peach lemonades from Chick-fil-A, and I just got another one. It's so good, I wish it came in a bigger size. But, here we go. Hold on, let me show you guys. Looks good. I just bit the side of my mouth. It's really hot. <laughs> it's really good. Battery is flashing now.
I ended up with two extra chunks, but I have an extra side of Wingstop Ranch. And I'm gonna dip those in. I'm gonna finish eating my snack. And I might go do my nails to finish those. I don't know. I'll see what I get into. Everything is hot. It took me forever to find a place to put the tripod in the car, but we're just gonna go with putting you guys on the tripod and putting the tripod in the cup holder because I don't know where to put you on the dash. It's too much pressure. So I gave up oh, batteries flashing. I forgot to change this out from yesterday, but we are on the way to Chipotle, but I also want to get like a really big lemonade or tea or something. So I'm debating, should I go to Kroger's? And get some tea just for the fridge because I really plan on cleaning and getting a lot of stuff done today it's 12 o'clock I want to be like chilling by like 2 is the plan let me switch out this battery and on the way to the store and me if you want I will decide where I'm gonna get this drink from because there's a Wendy's also look at my burn it looks worse. Well, I guess now it's just a scab, but it was like bubbling up. And when I brought my package in, I was holding it and the package ripped open the burn. So it's healing, but okay. On the way we go. Food time. I forgot to get a tray to put my food on. Hold on. Two things happened at Chipotle. They were out of fajitas, but she didn't charge me for my side of guac or my side of queso. So, <laughs> oh, I guess three things happened. My free entree thing didn't scan, which is okay. I'll just use it at another time. So she only charged me for the chips and the, um, the bowl. So ready to eat first meal of the day I waited too long to eat every time I start talking that's when Ramsey wants to run through here screeching almost choked got a little simply strawberry lemonade it's pretty good for whatever reason the Kroger's I went to didn't have any gold peak tea we got our Chipotle bowl, extra sour, of course. Why is Chipotle so good? My favorite thing about Chipotle is that it always tastes the same. So, probably because I always get the same thing, but you can go and your taste buds would be ready for a specific flavor and you will get that because it always tastes the same. Some days it tastes better than others because maybe the rice will be extra salty or extra limey and those are great days. There was this lady in there. She like, I was like about to be at the register to get pay for my food. And she just like kind of walked up and was just standing there. And she was standing there like she had something to say. So I just let her go ahead of me. And she asked for a water. Like as she was standing there, I like looked over at her and she was just having like intense eye contact with me. And I'm like, okay. Went back to looking back at the cashier. She got her water cup. Of course she got lemonade and not water but she's just like standing in front of the station at Chipotle where you get like your silverware and everything. She's just standing right there in the middle. So I stand there for a second. And at that point I'm like, excuse me. And I just start reaching over her because it's like, move out of the way you have your lemonade. And she's just like staring at me still. 
And I'm like, I look at her again as I grab like my fork and my napkins, I'm looking at her. I grab the rest of my stuff and I leave. Cause it's like, what are you, why are you being weird? When I get done eating, we're gonna get to cleaning and organizing the kitchen. I've been putting that off all week. We're in the kitchen. We're gonna clean up. I'm so full, I ate so much so fast. So now we're gonna get up and clean to see if we can work off some of this food I just ate. I'm getting on top of the fridge to clean up up here. I might just do a time lapse of uh, wiping off the surfaces and putting stuff away. And that way I can listen to my book as I do this. I'm gonna show you guys all the pink kitchen stuff that I got so I can start putting it away. We got cutting boards, a knife set. Oh, we got some towels here, measuring cups. These little containers I make my instant oatmeal in to take to work. Storage containers, there's a 10 piece, so it's the big set and then a small set on the inside. We got a rice cooker. I've never had a rice cooker before, but I always hear like, you need to get a rice cooker. You need to get a rice cooker. So yeah, I have one now. Pink pots and pans. And it was so hard to find a set that was pink and silver and not pink and gold, like the Paris Hilton set. So we got these from Walmart, from Walmart. Everything else is from Amazon to Walmart's Amazon. We got some silver, or what is this? Um, utensils, so kitchen utensils. We got these glass bottles so I can start making my own creamer because I saw this girl on TikTok make creamer. So I was like, all right, I need bottles to put them in. And we got a hyper chiller for my coffee. So you brew the coffee directly into this thing and it's gonna instantly freeze it for my iced coffee so it's not melting down my ice. Uh, well, we got these. Oh, there's a little something in that one. Cute little sauce ramekins for my ketchup and stuff. I thought that was so precious. I kept the box for the pots and pans so I can show you guys, but it comes with almost everything. All right, I'm gonna get back to putting this stuff away and listening to my book. The cats are on the kitchen floor, so I'm trying to have to find strategic ways to place the tripod down that's not on top of one of my cats because they refuse to move. my time it is 154 and I am done with the kitchen I think it looks so good I, I like looking at all the pink stuff let me show you guys all of it all together there's still a couple things I would do want to clean but this is just like first draft um, I could turn off that light it's really blue right now but you get the idea I guess I could turn it off hold on there you go now you can see This cabinet I want to do more with, but it's fine for now. I think I actually want to get a container for the grits because we have pancake mix, cream of wheat, and then let's do one for, oh, that's cornmeal. That's not even grits. Oh, thought that was grits. Okay. Pancake 
pantry is pretty organized. That's a cat's food. Thinking about putting like big overstock stuff down here. Some things there. Got my breakfast things like oatmeal, pop tarts, cookies, big bag of croutons that I got a year ago that I'm still eating. These are snacks, chips, cat treats and stuff in here. Oh, and they're both in there now. And I have more pantry stuff on the door. Can you guys come out? Hold on, let me get them. Can you come out? No. Move. So cute. This cabinet I like. I feel like it looks really good, especially on this side where we have like all our plates and stuff. Looks really good. This side could use a little bit more work. It's more cups and stuff. I guess it makes sense. There's really not much I can do. And then more storage and then those little cup things. Pots and pans. Down here in this cabinet, I have like more containers, baking things. You can see more baking things. These are my bake and serve containers or bake and store, something like that, where you can put these in the oven and then put the lid back on them and put them in the fridge. Love that. Now, I did buy this pink contact paper because I wanted to wrap my microwave, but I don't know. That might be a little too ambitious. We'll see, but the idea is there and I bought the paper just in case. I think I'm gonna chill. It's uh, 158 now. I kinda wanna lay around and do nothing. Oh, I'm returning these things. So the basket is too big and the towels are too small. I meant to get bigger towels. So, mm-hmm. <sighs> Turning off all the lights. So I can relax. I'm actually gonna turn back on that light in the kitchen because I think that's really like kind of relaxing. Feels good to sit down after you were somewhat productive. I think I'm gonna play, I have like hair in my face. I'm gonna play some potion permit, maybe some dream light, and I'm gonna chill here until I get back up. Just snapped my finger into the tripod. I still need to find a camera repair, a camera repair place. I could try a little harder. I haven't actively tried looking, but I'm going to try going like Best Buy or something and go into like, I know Best Buy has a tech area. I'm going to go in there, see if they can help me out. It's time for a treat. It is 9.43. I have laid around and I mean, I, I took a nap. I played my game and now I'm up and we're gonna make hot fudge cakes because that's what I'm having for dessert. Pretty proud of everything that I cleaned up today, by the way. I think everything looks super organized. All right, let me make sure my cake is still good. Yeah, it looks okay. Also, I put the hyper chiller in the fridge or in the freezer, kind of excited about it. So I didn't get to explain. Oh, it's not all the way frozen yet. Okay, never mind. The idea I told you is that you brew your coffee directly into this. Like you put it underneath the machine, coffee brews in, instantly cools it down. And then I can pour it into my drinks and it won't melt my ice. I saw my favorite coffee TikTok girly with it and I was just like, oh yeah. Okay, I could do that too. Look at this. I don't know what's underneath there, but they're like obsessed with it. Oh, he's eating my fridge. Get out of here. Look what he's doing. He's like chewing up the, that doesn't mean you need to join in, but he's like chewing on my fridge. Criminal. So the idea, cause I'm gonna do this tomorrow. I'm gonna wake up. Cause I work from home tomorrow and we're gonna make our own creamer. Cause the girl from TikTok, she made her own creamer. 
and she used this sweetened condensed oat milk and then the evaporated oat milk. I got both of these from Whole Foods. She didn't tell me where to buy it, so I had to Google it, and Whole Foods had just got it. it both of them had the new label on it, so instead of using my oat creamer that I normally use, I'm gonna use that, and I'm gonna put some vanilla bean paste in there. I also have cake batter. So I might make two, because I have this glass, and I have this glass. So I might make two things of creamer. I had to look up to see how long I don't know how long these would last in the fridge, like after opening, it doesn't really say. I would think seven days. So I don't know if I can make two. I'll probably have to make like two small ones instead of one big one. That way I can have like cake batter some days and then I could just be experimenting with making my own creamers. I'm gonna do a little couple more research because I thought there's alcohol in these. So I do I need to cook the alcohol out of it? Like do I need to heat back underneath the fridge? I don't know. I'll do some research tonight and figure it out because I also have a coconut one. Back on track, we're making um, hot fudge cakes. These I bought these because I was like so excited for French toast sticks and they've been in here for like a month, probably over a month. They have like ice all on them. I might eat these tomorrow for breakfast with some cereal. All right, I'm gonna heat up my hot fudge first. Ooh, the lid is on there tight. Awesome. All right, no mold. Cool. It's just covered in like hot, dried hot fudge. That's what the issue is. So anytime I make a loud noise and Pia gets scared, she's gonna sit like right here. They all run, but she runs to like the bedroom. I'm gonna try to get some of this hot fudge off of here. It's pretty disgusting. Maybe once I heat it up, it'll come off easier. All right. Yes, I could use a spoon right now, but I already started using this knife, so we're going to keep using this knife. I'll probably regret it later. This bottle is just so hot. You know what? Put a spoon right here. Do a nice fudge layer. I made a decent mess making this uh, fudge cake, but honestly, I think it is worth it. And it's just as good, if not better, than going to the one and getting it, or going to Frisch's. Just gotta get a chocolate pudding cake from the store. Or any kind of chocolate cake, for real. It just can't have icing on the cake. Hmm. <sighs> Back to the couch I go. And now this battery is flashing. Trying to get my work done, but I'm too hungry to concentrate. Um, it's 10:14. I'm about to make some breakfast. I was like kind of sitting around like, what do I have? What do I have to make? But I have bacon, I have eggs, and I have um, Eggo waffles. So that's gonna be breakfast. Also, I woke up and took a shower. I haven't taken a shower in so long. I 
normally only take baths but I was like I need to get in I need to get out and so I had to do something quick so I feel great <laughs> um let's get these waffles going like oh, oh I should eat those french toast sticks but I'm not I'm not I'll eat those another day where are my waffles I feel like two of my eggs got frozen and now they are stuck in the dish. They got frozen and they expanded and now I can't get them out of the dish. I'm going to have to break it. Got our bacon. I'm going to throw these in first. I wish I had some orange juice, but I don't. Should I be making our creamer? No, I have enough creamer to make a coffee and I'll make my special creamer later on today. But let me put these in the air fryer. This pot and pan set came with this tiny little egg pan, so I can't wait to use this. It's so cute. Hush up, cat. I love this tiny pan. It's so cute. And I like that it's small, but the sides are raised. Should check to see if I have any cheese I can put in here. Oops. Let's put a little half of some Kobe in there. Oops. Oh no. I let my scramble sit too long. I don't like adding salt and pepper to my eggs if I'm gonna have bacon because I feel like the bacon is already salty enough and I really don't like pepper, so. All right, so the eggs are done. They look good. This one's a plate. Got a big plate of eggs. My waffles are done. Let me grab those waffles. Bacon is still frying, but I don't have any normal silverware anymore because I thought I was getting a new set from Macy's. I did buy a new set from Macy's and then I realized I bought a five piece. Um, so now I'm waiting for Macy's to have another sale so I can buy the correct set of black silverware. I was looking at a pair on Amazon or a set, but I'm afraid if I buy them on Amazon, they'll be kind of low quality and they won't last as long. So I wanted to buy like a nicer brand from Macy's like the last set I bought but they're super expensive and I'm gonna wait for a sale let me check on my bacon all right it is 10 30 I'm gonna sit here eat my breakfast do some work drink some water and maybe in a couple hours I would get up and take a coffee break but I need to get some work done back in the kitchen and we're finally gonna make that creamer it's 5 55 I almost just laid on the couch to play potion permit for the rest of the night but let me get up I just feel like I just did three loads of laundry I deserve to do nothing but no let's prep for tomorrow because I'm gonna have my coffee for the week also I don't know if I got I told you guys I'm thinking about wrapping the microwave I don't know I'm thinking about it I'll try and see how it goes but if it doesn't go well, I won't do it. Um, recipe I saw on TikTok. Let me come out of the fridge, please. Come out. Come out. Thank you. So we got the Nature's Charm Evaporated Milk and Sweden Condensed Milk. We are going to combine those with a little bit of oat milk one of them we're going to put vanilla bean paste and the other we're going to put cake batter so that we'll have like a cake batter and a like vanilla bean situation that's the idea i've never made a creamer before so i'm kind of like on edge about it but ooh, this condensed milk is probably so crazy sweet um
taste very oaty. I kind of like it. I'm kind of scared of evaporated milk because what is like, is it thick milk? <sighs> Ooh, it's like thin, but still kind of thick. When I like pressed on it, some of it kind of came out. Ugh. I'm disgusted. Can you guys chill? I never give you guys anything like that. Cats are just circling around me, begging. Kind of scared. Oh my God. I hate looking at like, I don't know. I'm gonna taste it. Okay, it's not bad. Doesn't really taste like anything. I'm just scared. <laughs> I'll relax. Okay, we're gonna put, I don't have a, um, oh, forgot. These just pop off. I don't have a funnel. So we're gonna put half in one bottle, half in the other, and go from there. Can you guys stop? It's not even dinner time. <sighs> I saw some lumps. Like, what were those lumps? I'm only going to do a little bit because I don't want to waste stuff. Because if I don't like it in the non-dairy version, I do have normal condensed milk and normal evaporated milk. Can you guys stop? You're acting like I never feed you. This is for me. All right, we're just gonna do a little splash. A little bit of cake batter in that one. I don't know the texture of vanilla bean paste, but I'm assuming it's gonna be thicker than normal vanilla bean. Shake it a little bit. And ooh, it's thick. Okay, we're just gonna Ooh, cool. So I have my condensed milk here and I'm kind of scared to use this. It's already open, whatever. If I don't like it, I will just do something else. It's not that serious. It's just kind of thick. We're gonna have a cup of coffee to see if we like these. All right, they are about the same. This is the cake batter one. It is really yellow. See the color difference? All right, and now this one is the vanilla bean paste. This one, you can see the vanilla bean flex in it. I don't know which one I wanna try first. We're just gonna do, I don't know, I kinda wanna just make a little coffee and put it in my cup. We'll just taste it off the cap. All right. I can't really taste it. Okay. I feel like I need to add more condensed milk. It's not sweet enough. Now we're gonna try the birthday or the cake batter one. Wow, that one does taste like cake. <laughs> or like a vanilla pudding or something. Let's add a little bit more condensed milk because I have so much of it left. I'm gonna end up having to put saran wrap over this and putting it back in the fridge. I think we're gonna make the coffee with the cake batter one. Okay, we're gonna put this one in the fridge. Maybe I'll have this one tomorrow. And I have a coffee right here. Now this coffee is coconut, 
So it's going to be slightly swayed by the flavor, but hopefully the cake batter can overpower it. Let me get some ice. See, I'm going to shake this and Pia's going to get scared. Oh, she didn't run this time. Any other time I shake the ice, she's not having it. She's leaving the premise. But I guess begging is more important today. I don't even know if I should be having a coffee this late in the day. It's literally 6.06 .06 now. It's kind of late to be having a coffee, but a little coconut coffee pod and... not liking this color ew and it's doing that thing where it kind of separates and gets all gross on the top i hate that um let's taste it very coconutty i'm adding more creamer Maybe it's because it's a coffee and not an espresso shot that I just taste straight coffee. Like, I don't even taste the creamer. I don't taste it. I'm going to put this in the fridge for tomorrow. I don't want to use it all up. We're going to try again, and then tomorrow I'll make just an espresso shot. Add some milk. It is the Thursday and I have to edit this video, but I am so tired. I would love just to take a nap, but I'm trying to be consistent with getting my vlogs uploaded, even though I have nothing going on. <sighs> but I'm home now. It is 5.37. I'm thinking maybe if I eat some food, it'll make, wake me up. So I was gonna make a um, little mac and cheese and chicky nuggets. Cause um, it was like last week or the week before, I was obsessed with um, like mac and cheese and then like nuggets from either, well, I was doing this at Chick-fil-A and Popeye's where I was getting their nuggets and putting it on top of the mac and cheese. But I'm going to try to do that at home. And I have two different kinds of nuggets. So I don't know which ones I'm going to use. But it was something I saw on TikTok. And that's why I was like copying. But it's fine. Also, you can hear the stream in the background. Don't be scared. I'm the only one here. Alright. We're trying to stove on. Six cups of water. We're just gonna put any type of water in here. Also, this is the sweater I got from Timu. I'm actually standing up so you can see it. The strawberry sweater. And that's cute. Got our cute little pink pot. Also, my new silverware comes tomorrow. I no longer have to eat with plastic utensils. And then I think Wednesday, I'm gonna return the ones that were only a five piece. They're in my car now. I'm just gonna wait till Wednesday to take them back to the store. What else was I going to say? Silverware comes on Friday. Saturday, the po pastel, pastel Joy Cons that I bought are coming on Saturday. So I can't wait to see those. And maybe it'll make me want to start playing my Switch more. <sighs> All right, we're going to give this mac and cheese some time to cook before I put the nuggets on. I just know once I eat, I'll have a little bit more energy and I can get my stuff done. Is anybody watching The Bear on Netflix? I've been seeing people, no, it's on Hulu actually. I've been seeing people on Twitter talking about like they love the friendship dynamic about uh, between the, the main characters. And I'm like, okay, I'm trying to see some friendship. So I'm going to watch it so I can be a... Uh, on the hype train as well. I think they have two seasons. All I've been playing recently is um, 
like show wise i feel like i haven't been watching anything i tried to watch the will will trent series it's on hulu but it's nowhere near as detailed or gritty as the will trent books by karen slaughter so i think i'm gonna finish the books and then if i have nothing else to do or watch then i will go watch the series but it's just so tame like i don't know i'm trying to see some real grit like they need to put that on hbo and not abc what else was i gonna say i think that was all it looks like it's gonna storm okay i'll be back once my food is made and hopefully i'll be a little bit more hype but i can at least show you guys what i'm making because it's gonna be hopefully good i have an idea i don't know which nuggets i'm going to use yet but brb got our mac and cheese all made now i used the normal box stuff but i add a little shredded cheese a little bit of velveta and now i'll probably move my bowl a little closer so i don't make a mess we're gonna eat about half for now i think that looks like plenty now to get my nuggets also i put my pajamas back on I'm listening to another book. Thought I heard a cat run past. Get my nuggies out the air fryer. I made three big ones because they're so big and I was just gonna cut them in halves because I want little bite-sized chunks. Um, I hope I didn't lock Ramsey in the counter in the closet. I don't see him. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Oh, there he is. Hi, buddy. He's not in the pantry. He's okay. <laughs> they get a little nosy sometimes. Um, I like to show them stuff. Oh, I went in the kitchen to get a knife and a fork so I can just stab the little chickies looks nice I'm gonna cut these up a little bit so I can have smaller pieces I'm trying to get back into my routine of only eating out on the weekends and during the week I should eat the food in the fridge it's like I went grocery shopping I have all these groceries I should probably eat the groceries so I'm trying to do that and hold myself accountable so we'll see how long that lasts. Next week I am treating myself because I have been staying on my little budget goal. So I will be going outside of the budget to treat myself to, ch to a Cheesecake Factory next week when I go to return those silverwares that I bought. Okay, we're gonna do just a little bit of sriracha a little bit of ranch and I think that's gonna be so good and then I have my little strawberry lemonade I went for everything to cool down it's way too hot to eat but let's see if we just get like a tiny piece it's probably way too hot I'm gonna regret it oh no it's too hot <laughs> I tried it and the tip of my tongue is already burnt from trying to mess around with the mac and cheese. I'm going to let this sit and then I'm going to try it. My air just cut back on. So let's try this and let's get a little bite with some ranch and sauce. That is really good. I was trying to compare it to Popeye's and chick-fil-a in my head but i feel like it's just as good like of course both of those flavor both of those places have their own flavor of chicken and their mac and cheese are similar to each other different than what i made but i feel like it gets the job done like i like this as a snack the only thing i need is i should have made some veggies like some green beans or something with it or some broccoli broccoli would have been really good 
Maybe tomorrow when I remake this, I'll make it with broccoli. All right, I'm gonna keep eating and we're gonna wrap up this vlog so I can have, um, I can edit it after I get done. So if you made it this far, leave a, let's do a chicken. I know there's a little chicken emoji. So you can either leave a chicken leg or you can leave the animal chicken, whichever you prefer. Leave a little chicken and I will see you guys next week. I don't know what I'll be doing next week. I am really not doing anything, but we'll see. We'll see. It, it might be good, it might be, I don't know, but bye. See you guys next week. Mm -hmm.